What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment uh, bringing you another video for this week. Um, this is going to be my video for my predictions video for this week against Nebraska. And um, a little bit, I'm kind of iffy uh, as far as my thoughts and feelings about Michigan so far. Um, you know, the offense has been real inconsistent. The defense has been surprisingly inconsistent as well. I know, you know, a few weeks now we've been hit up with some real suspect targeting calls, but all in all, that shouldn't make any difference as far as our defense goes. Uh, we've been really underwhelming on the defensive end. You know, some people will say that, uh, you know, play, certain players are playing well, and that might be the case. But overall, for a defense, I don't think that anyone would have predicted that. Like, for example, we would have given up 20 points against SMU. So... Going into this week against Nebraska, I'm interested to see how both the offense and the defense play, you know, starting against Big Ten play. Nebraska so far is 0-2, um, you know, have struggled in their play so far this season, uh, especially losing to Troy. I know that game, their starting quarterback uh, was out of injury and they had to put on, uh, you know, a walk-on as their uh, starting quarterback for that game. But still, um, this, especially being a home game for Michigan, this is a very winnable game. So, um, first of all, I mean, I feel like I'm just beating the same drum every single week. But uh, first, uh, I'm interested to see, um, first of all, how the offensive line is going to play. Uh, I keep hearing a lot of people talking about they need to put in uh, and take out Runyon and Bush Abatey and play some of the younger guys at the two tackle positions. Uh, that didn't happen last week for whatever reason. I'm interested to see whether or not that will be implemented this game. Uh, so all, all in all, the offensive line has been real spotty, uh, sometimes good, sometimes uh, you know giving up huge plays against the defensive line or getting confused on stunts or blitz or whatever the case may be. So I'm interested to see the, how well the offensive line is going to play this this game. A little bit of concern is going to be the running game this game. Uh, with Chris Evans, looks like he he uh, pulls his hamstring. It's going to be out a couple of weeks maybe. Karan Higdon didn't play last week because of injury for whatever reason. So that might be a huge issue, you know, going into this game, um, you know, is it going to force Michigan to have to pass the ball way more than they usually would? I don't know, but if they, both of those can't, both of those guys can't go, it's going to be starting with True Wilson, um, at your starting running back, which is amazing, you know, that he's actually that part of the depth chart, seeing as we have other guys that were on scholarship, that he's basically leapfrogged. Um, as a walk-on. I mean, obviously not a walk-on now, but at the time, being a walk-on. So, um, the running game, this this game, is going to be a huge concern, um, especially if Karan Hickton can't go for this game. Um, but as far as the quarterback play, uh, Shea Patterson has actually looked more and more comfortable um, from start to start. And... It's interesting to see if they can at least keep that part of the game going uh, and keep the trend going with uh, wide receivers catching, catching touchdowns. Overall, for the offense, they have to get started early. Um, they've been getting off to slow starts um, in a few of these games, and it's made the games more interesting than they had to be. I mean, had they had come, come out with at least a somewhat decent start against Notre Dame, I think they could have taken that game too. But they have to come out on the offensive end and just put teams away. I remember, uh, not last year obviously, but two years ago, 
uh, when they started the season uh, undefeated until you know they played Iowa, they were smashing teams right up the gate, and that's the way that they have to play. Um, if we're going to be a quote-unquote playoff team or make any type of noise, the, especially against the teams that we're supposed to be, we gotta we gotta you know smash them early. Uh, score early, demoralize them, do whatever they have to do. Don't keep them in the game. Don't give them hope. Don't don't do anything that'll allow them an opportunity to you know come back at the end of the game and win. So that's what I'm interested to see as far as the offense goes. Defensively, um, I'm beating my drum again. I'm tired of beating the drum. Our safety play is terrible. Um, somewhat piggy. You know, piggybacking off of that, I know it's not for this year, it's for next year. But um, I'm, I'm thoroughly psyched and happy and thrilled at the huge uh, recruitment pickup of Dax Hill at safety. So I know it doesn't make any difference this year, but for next year, we're going to be pretty solid at safety. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, given the safety play that I've seen for the last couple of years, more than likely he's going to start at safety as a true freshman. You know, it's... Because I, I don't see anyone better than him on the current roster right now. Um, so, but that's for next year. For this year, um, we got, we got to get some sort of consistent safety play because that's where we get burned. Uh I know Josh Metellus did uh, intercept the, the ball last that's you know last week and returned it at the end of the first half, which was probably the key play of the first half and of the game. It turned the whole game around and gave Michigan some breathing room going into the second half. So I know that was a huge play, probably the play of the game. But overall, um, our secondary has not played very well. Front seven has been pretty good, stopping the run getting pressure from time to time, not as well as I thought they would do, but still getting some pressure. I know two of the tackles have been injured, I get that. But our, our secondary as a whole has been real spotty. Um, and I know part of that has to do with the pressure. But, you know, they're just not getting, especially the safeties, just not getting it done. So hopefully, like I said, we can see some improvement from that. Just some consistency. So what do I expect for this week? Um, it is a home game. and are playing against a team that's starting 0-2. Uh, offensively, they've been pretty decent. So I think that Michigan's going to win at least by a couple of touchdowns. Um, but I think if we get off to a hot start, a quick start, I think that we can put the game out of reach real quick against this team so hopefully that's the case hopefully that's what they do so we don't have to be sitting there biting our nails hoping that you know we have to hold on for a win so anyways that's it for the video thank you for watching if you like the video definitely feel free to leave a like on the video um you know if you enjoy my content uh, definitely try to share the content with as many people as possible to get the discussion going uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel uh, about uh, Michigan's play so far for the first three games, whether you feel that they're overachieving, underachieving, they're exactly where they need to be. Let me know how you feel about the huge uh, recruiting pickup of Dax Hill and whether or not that will definitely help us for next season. And just let me know how you feel about Michigan football as a whole. And if you like my content, subscribe to the channel. Um, you know, it definitely helps me out. The more people we get in this community, uh, the more we can discuss Michigan football. So anyways, thank you for watching the video, and go blue.